You all knew this was coming. As is tradition, when one video ends, just open up- Wait, no, 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 sorry, that's the wrong script. When one season ends, we do what if videos for it. I took a little break in September, so it only feels appropriate to return with this kind of a video. So yes, today we will be doing the what if All Stars 6 had had a lip sync for your legacy format that was present on All Stars 2, 3, and 4, but that was best realized on All Stars 4. I say this because on that season we have the definitive 7 placements that will be used for this what if, unlike with All Stars 2 and All Stars 3, that ignore the existence of the low placement. Before we get into this what if season, I have to do the standard YouTuber thing and ask you to check if you're subscribed because YouTube's been really weird lately. Subscribe if you like what I make on here and once you're finished watching, like or dislike the video and leave a comment. The last thing might be the most important this time because for some reason, for my past couple of videos, I received many a notification of your guys' comments, but then they just wouldn't be under the videos. They aren't even in the helpful review section of the comments, meaning they're not waiting to be approved. They just kind of disappear. And I doubt that every single one was deleted by the person that commented. Alrighty, let's set some ground rules. Starting from the top, we're basing this off the original placements for the episodes, but we are not looking at the bullshit placements. Here is the table of the non-bullshit placements. If you need further explanations on them, you can watch this video. I will leave the link to it in the description if you have not watched it already. The winner of an episode originally will now be in the top two, and the other person in the top two will be the queen that got the best critiques out of the high queens. A bottom three is okay, especially for a top five episode, as we have two queens fighting for the ultimate win. The game within a game twist is present still, and we will talk about it after the ninth episode. We're assuming that the lip sync songs would be the same as originally, but of course, keeping with their prior seasons, the queens can change for the lip sync, so their runway looks really won't matter. The lipsticks queens chose originally are the ones that they will choose here as well. I'll do my best to explain why I think a certain queen would win a lip sync, but I have made some placement related decisions based on what would give the most drama or be the best storyline without straying too far off the original course. Let's begin. Starting with episode 1, of course, and the variety show. The winner of this episode was Yara, so now she's in the top 2 and Pandora and Raja were high. So for All Stars 2, 3 and 4, the top 2 was always one queen that did something serious in the challenge and another that did a jokey performance for the talent slash variety show. As Yara's performance was absolutely and completely jokey, she needs to go up against someone who did something a little more serious. That, of course, is Raja. Looking at all of the other placements, Akiria, Eureka, Ginger Jan Jiggly, Kylie and Scarlet are all safe. Silky is low and Serena and Trinity are up for elimination. Yara has Trinity's lipstick. Raja has Serena's. Who wins the lip sync to Uptown Funk? I mean, the Raja does. As Raja was one of the best performers on her original season, as she was one of the best performers on this All Star season, and as Yara never won a single lip sync throughout her Drag Race journey, Raja gets to win this episode, which means that Serena goes home. For episode 2, the blue ball. Oh fuck, I just got that pun. Yeah, okay, okay. Our first top 2 queen is Raja, as the original winner. While between Eureka and Kylie, I think Kylie would be in that top 2. Both her and Eureka got almost as equally as positive of critiques, but instead of having Kylie be a mid season bloomer, let's give her an earlier top placement. Because we are expecting her to be the winner. She may not be, let's stick till the end to find out. Thus, Ginger, Jan, Pandora, Scarlet, Silky and Trinity are safe. Akira is low and Jiggly and Yara are up for elimination. Kylie and Raja would lip sync to Miss You Much by Janet Jackson. Now that song is very dancey, so I think Raja would win the lip sync. She originally tied Brooke 
who's one of the show's strongest performers and competitors. And Kylie herself has said that she's not much of a dancer, but because she can do flips and such, she can kind of mask it. Either way, Jiggly gets the boot. Episode 3 is that weird episode where I may or may not have developed a crush on Jen, uh, don't tell her that, where the queens were divided into three teams and were judged in teams. Thus, alongside Trinity, the queen in the top two will be one of her teammates. So, who is it gonna be? Well, the winning team got no individual critiques, so it's really anybody's game between Pandora, Raja, and Yara. We can't really even fully look at their outfits, as this runway has uh, many problems. Many, many, yeah, just conceptually. There sure will be a video about that if you're interested. But what do we do? Well, to maximize the drama, let's pick one out of these three that voted differently to Trinity. Now, I did not plan on this happening, but the only queen that picked a different lipstick is uh, Raja. Yeah, Raja's been de la creming this season. Team Kylie Scarlet Eureka is safe, Ginger and Jan from the losing team are low, and Akira and Silky are up for elimination. So as to not rock the boat too much this early on, and Yes, even though Trinity did lose the lip sync in this episode originally, I'm actually gonna give her the win this time. It goes with her upward track record, plus she needs some fluff now in the season by beating Raja. Thus, Silky is sent to the game within a game thing to murder everyone. In the fourth episode, which was the Super Bowl thing episode, Jan is one of our top two queens. The other one is either Trinity or you. It's Trinity, guys, guys, it's Trinity. Kylie, Pandora, Raja, and Scarlet are safe for this episode, and Ginger is low. Ginger was also set up because why would they give her Fergie? We won't talk about it. No, not now. For the sake of the storyline, we need to have Trinity win this lip sync against Jan. Ah, I can't wait to see all of the comments about how Jan would beat Trinity here. But just hear me out, guys. She wouldn't. That's all. Did you see her lip sync to Womanizer? That was a big no. And yes, Trinity did lose all of her lip syncs on this season, but she also was high for all of the performing challenges, and was one of the best lip sync performers on season 6. Jan never won a lip sync during her time on Drag Race. Of course, Trinity winning here also serves another purpose, a bigger purpose actually. She gets to eliminate Yara, who wanted to eliminate her in episode 1. So, it's a full circle storyline. Episode 5, with the table talk challenge, is another weird one positions wise. So there was a winning team, but the winner was not from that team. Even though, overall, the queen that did the best was in that team. It, what? <laughs> Anyways... Yeah, you might have guessed it already, but Ginger and Eureka are our top two this time. Akira and Trinity are high, Pandora and Raja are safe, and we have a bottom three of Jan, Kylie, and Scarlet. Why a bottom three now? Well, because based on the judges' critiques, not a single one of them stood out more from the rest, and they all had their individual problems in the challenge. As much as the show loves Eureka, Ginger just killed it in the original lip sync and entertained the hell out of the judges, so I gotta give it to Ginger. And to misquote Ginger, she would not have been able to sleep that night if she hadn't picked Scarlet to go home. The sixth episode brings us the very long Ryan Murphy verse set in AHS Coven parody acting skit. <sighs> I think I covered everything. Who are our top two? Well, Kylie as the original winner, and Ginger as legitimately the best in that challenge. And she didn't even need a producer's help. That means that Jan is high, with Pandora and Trinity being safe. Our low queen this time is Eureka, while Raja and Akira are up for elimination. Now, who wins this top two lip sync? While Ginger never lost a lip sync on Drag Race, and while we know that she can make anything funny, I don't really know how you could make Christina Aguilera's dirty funny. And I also don't know how you can out-sexy Kylie in this lip sync, so I'm just going to give the win to Kylie. Still, Akira goes home. Yeah, no changes yet in the elimination order, methinks. Episode 7 brings us that unnecessarily divided into teams, singing, dancing, performing challenge. Trinity won this episode, but now, 
who between Raja and Eureka would be with her in that top two? Based on the edit in the Maxi Challenge, given that Eureka had basically a laugh track played behind her even when she wasn't doing anything, not anything funny, just anything, we gotta put Eureka in that top two. Next, we have to see who between Ginger and Kylie gets the safe and who the low placement. So let's see, based on the critiques, based on the edit given in the episode, and just overall common sense that Ginger is overall a better performer than Kylie, I can't wait to read your comments about why Kylie is a better performer because she can do flips and because she's skinny. Thank you. So Ginger is safe and Kylie is low. Not because Kylie did poorly, but because there are seven queens, seven placements, and someone just did better than her. Simple as that. With Jen and Pandora in the bottom, Who's gonna get the win this episode? So I'm gonna be a little crazy right now, you guys. And I think Eureka would have won this. My logic is the show just loves Eureka so much and with Trinity losing the original lip sync too and with us also needing to see the rise of Eureka and the fall of Trinity, the show would have no reason not to give Eureka the win. So who goes home? Pandora, actually. Yes. As Eureka originally had Pandora's lipstick, we can assume that she'd have it the same this time, and that she would have sent her home. So this is our first change in elimination order. Let's see how, if at all, that would affect the rest of the season. The 8th episode of All-Star 6 was Snatch Game. Now I couldn't find anywhere who Jan would have done for Snatch Game on All-Star 6, so Here's my thought process. We know that she was very down on herself this late in the season, and it probably wouldn't have sat well with her to find out that Trinity would have eliminated her if she had had a chance. Looking at her original Snatch game, flop, so she cannot have a similar middle of the road to bleh performance, especially next to Ginger, Kylie, Raja, and yeah, Eureka as well. But if Jan were to go full 110%, she probably would have been critiqued on that. Remember, there is no in-between for Jan. In this season, she went balls to the walls, or she just did not go at all for every challenge. With all this in mind, I don't think there's even a possibility of her not being up for elimination alongside Trinity. This time, Kylie and Ginger are in the top two. Now, I know, I know, I know. In All Stars 4 and in my What If All Stars 5 video, the top two were the two winners of Snatch Game of Love. But the second group of queens was overall bad, so much so that the show instead went for a gag and did not say who the winner was. And Kylie in the first group was just fantastic. It would be criminal to not have her be up there with Ginger. Eureka is high, Raja safe. So see guys, Raja in this scenario can be safe because seven placements, six queens. It really is not that hard. Who wins the lip sync? The first time they were lip syncing, Kylie won. But this time, Ginger is going to win. Partially because I don't really think Kylie sexing it up would work for Sugar Rolls, even though the song is, you know, well, about sex and vaginas and you know, all of that. But for Drag Race, we know that in a lip sync, comedy would usually beat just being sexy. So who does Ginger eliminate? Well, from what we have seen with her, Ginger values both the overall performance and the performance in the episode. So I think she would have saved Trinity, especially given that she was also in the maxi challenge with her and Kylie. So we have the same first top five. And because this is the top five episode, we can have a bottom three. So yeah, this time, if you're not in the top, you're in the bottom. So for episode 9, our top two would have been Raj O'Hara and Trinity K. Bonet, with Eureka, Ginger, and Kylie being up for elimination. But also, let's not forget, Ginger and Kylie also won the mini challenge this episode. Now, just like how I did it with Ginger and Kylie when they were in the top two for the second time, this time also the queen that did not win the first time is going to win the lip sync. The queen in question now is Raja. So Raja wins this lip sync against Trinity and of course eliminates Eureka. Now episode 10, the whole game within a game thing. So the boot order is almost exactly the same as in the original season, so Silky probably decimates all of the queens, reaches Eureka, and Eureka with the power of plot armor takes Silky out. Thus, we have a repeat top 5 in the 11th episode, but this time there may be a different outcome. Hmm. 
alongside Eureka in the top two. The queen that did the best, according to the edit and the judges' critiques, is Kylie, who also won that episode's mini-challenge. In the bottom three, thus, we have Ginger, Raja, and Trinity. Who wins the lip-sync? Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Both queens picked Trinity's lipstick either way, and as originally there was a double win, albeit it was set up to be like that, as either the $10,000 would have gone to waste or the show's most recent winner, given when the season was filmed, most recent, would have been showed as losing, which would not have been a good look for the said winner or for the show up in general, we're going to have a double win here as well. Thus, we move on to the finale with the same top four as before. We know that Kylie wins the season, Nothing really changes in the long run, even with the format change. But let's see how the said format change affected the track records. So as you can see, even in this fantasy season, Kylie is not the strongest competitor. In fact, this time she's the third best. But that's nothing new for all stars. Raja O'Hara comes out on top, as she did originally with the bullshit placements. But big surprise, Eureka actually does better than Kylie and Ginger. Even though one episode she earned no points and also never won a mini challenge as that little extra boost. Also, I have to repeat myself, Raja would almost have been de la creme to you the early season. Trinity would have actually won a lip sync here and Scarlet Envy would have still been mediocre. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I can't wait to read your comment. No, no, go on. Mm hmm Listen, I know she's dumb, but why is it taking her like half a minute to open a door?